Welcome to the project demonstration of uh, pregnancy women health monitoring system using IOT along with fetal kicks count. So here we are using uh, MAX 30100 sensor to monitor the heartbeat and pulse oximeter, nothing but SPO2 details and the temperature sensor. These, parami these three parameters getting from these two sensors, MAX 30100 as well as temperature sensor. And also we are using this vibration counter uh, which is used to count the real time vibrations nothing but when we mount this belt on pregnancy women uh, abdomen then uh, when the baby kicks the fatal kicks that count will be identified by the sensor and this will inform to the Arduino Uno board. So we are using three sensors to monitor the four parameters heart rate and SPO2 temperature and fetal kicks count. So these four parameters continuously monitor on this 16 by 2 LCD screen and same details will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So here just log into ThinkSpeak and uh, go to the IoT Health there we can see the heart rate first field and second field is SPO2 and third field is temperature in degree Fahrenheit and next fetal uh, kicks count so this is continuously monitored from anywhere in the world from this any mobile phone and for that we need to enable the hotspots near the system so as we are using the Wi-Fi uh, which is 2.4 gigahertz which is uh, not um, harmful for the fetal when we mount the system on the abdomen of the mother so the whole system getting power supply from this 3.7 volts 2600 milliamps of uh, battery we are using this which is rechargeable battery in order to make this battery recharge so connect the C type cable to this TP4056 charging circuit and when the battery is charging a red light will get switched on after the battery is fully charged this will off and the blue light or green light will get switched on so till that we should keep the battery under full charge so after that we can run the bat, uh, total system on battery itself. So here uh, this is a charging circuit uh, for uh, this uh, 3.7 volts battery so, uh, name is TP4056 and this one is a boost converter as we need a 5 volts power supply for the all over the components for that purpose we need to boost up the 3.7 volts to 5 volts so after this the 5 volts is input to this breadboard so the breadboard purpose is to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules of our project. So from here we are distributing the 5 volts power supply. So input and output. So in our project input modules are max 30100, temperature sensor, vibration sensor and output modules LCD display and ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and main processing unit is Arduino Uno board. So coming to the connections we have interfaced the max 30100 at A4 and A5 temperature sensor at A0 and uh, LCD display at pin number uh, 327, 327 and uh, A1 vibration sensor at pin number 2 pin number 8 and 9 for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so these are the main interfacing connections of our project so we are demo for uh, demonstration purpose we are using this abdomen belt and uh, so which is safe for the mother and we can use it for uh, mounting on our mother abdominal uh, loosely no it up keep it tight and small gentle kick also can be identified by this sensor so let us see demonstration before on the kit the very first step is we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so go to hotspot settings of your phone change the hotspot name to project 6349 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz after configuration these hotspots on the hotspot along with data now log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform so you can erase this old data so before erasing this you can download that for that data import exports option now download the data so you can open that in excel sheet format and uh, that consists of date and time and uh, totally four fields will be there so entry id is field 1 and field 2 so nothing but heart rate and spo2 and temperature and counts of the fetal so this excel sheet consists of the data then after you can erase the data so to clear that go to channel settings in that only do clear channel don't delete after clearing the channel 
now go to private view i'm repeating private view to see the live data channel settings to clear the channel data import exports to download the data as you can see the old data got erased so now we have on the hotspots and data now you can on this switch this is the main on of power supply so when we on this on lcd display we can see the welcome message and then after you can just place the finger into the sensor right so it will take around of 5 seconds to stabilize the heart rate and temperature and spo2 so once it's stabilized we can see the constant values on that and coming to the kickings a small gentle kickings also can be identified see so one kick was counted and two kicks so i'm just i'm tapping that you can see the led blinking on that so from inside also it can detect that and uh, the data will be uploaded to the think speak for every 15 seconds of duration and based on your net speed uh, the data will be plotted on this fields respective so in in order to make this kicks to zero we can reset the system by using this reset switch on the arduino uno board so when we press that it will be set to zero See. right so it will restarts and sorry yeah so on your hotspot we can see one device will be connected in your phone right you can see that one device is connected right right so we got the data on the think speak as the red mark will indicate the respect to sensor data so the interval from uh, data uploading to the think speak is 15 seconds duration i think speak accept the data for 15 seconds duration only so whenever we click on this we can see the value along with date and time for heart rate and spo2 temperature in degree fahrenheit along with the fatal kicks right